So first of all, what is collagen? OK, so collagen is this lovely springy protein in our skin that keeps it plump and smooth. And unfortunately, we lose it as we age. After the age of about 25, we lose 1% or 2%. So oh, right. you've got lots of lovely collagen because you're young, but, I mean, I'm in my 50s. So if you see here, this is what happens. Oh, I see. The collagen is like the scaffolding that supports the skin, so it's like a, this lovely network, this kind of matrix, a bit like a mattress that then goes saggy over oh, time, unfortunately. So that's really what causes wrinkles and skin sagging. And can, you, can you just have collagen in a cream and smear it on your face? Well, the problem with that, and they do put collagen in cream, is the molecule is really big, so it won't get through the skin, it just sits on the surface, which is fine, it's nicely moisturising. But actually, if you want to replenish your collagen from within, you've got to eat it. Oh, okay. really? Yeah. So See, but you why... can do it. You can do it. Well, you know, the jury's out as to how effective. It's still fairly early days. But you can buy collagen supplements. They're really expensive. Yeah. You can buy the liquid shots that you can take. Yeah. Or you can make your own. OK, which is what okay, we're bubbling up some broth do. here. So, so bone broth is just such a traditional remedy for health and well-being. And I've got some bones here. So these are lovely beef bones. And you want the really gristly, gnarly ones. You want them with lots of connective <laughs> tissue. So this be left over from the Sunday Rose? Or could you go and ask yeah, your butcher? Yeah, could ask the butcher for it. Absolutely. Absolutely, it's becoming really popular to boil up bones. So I'm going to put that in a pan with loads of water. It doesn't sound like the nicest thing to do, but then I guess I do, I do this with chicken stock. If you think of it as you make stock, your own stock, exactly. As opposed once to you've made it, yeah. you can then have it as a base of soups or all sorts of things. So bones in. So bones in, then I'm going to throw in some chopped onions and I'm going to flavour it with a bit of fennel or you could use celery. Skins on those onions. Yeah, skins on because it's just flavouring, it's just kind of extra, extra goodness. A little bit of black pepper go in there. My secret ingredient, which is cider vinegar. Oh, why? What does that do? It gives it a good flavour and it also just helps to boost um, the pH of it. Oh, a little okay. bit of chopped garlic. So those are your ingredients, which you then simmer. Now, this is the trick. You need to simmer it for about nine hours. Oh, right, long time. OK, long time. So, of course, here's one made earlier. Yes, of course. So, so you've taken the bones out and sieved it. So you sieve it, exactly. So you're just left with this lovely, beautiful, it rich It's like broth. gravy. Well, it is, basically, isn't it? It's like yeah. a lovely, thin gravy. But because you've simmered it for so long, you've extracted all the collagen and all that lovely sort of... So collagen is not affected by heat? No, it's not, interestingly. That's a very good question. And I'm going to put in there some Worcestershire sauce just to flavour it, because actually it is a bit bland on its own. Right. OK. Are you going to try? Yeah. yeah. Great. This is going to be like molten lava, isn't it? <laughs> so it might be a wee bit hot. I should have kept some of that water, shouldn't I, to sort of cool it down a bit. But at least you can just get the idea of it. It's a bit like a kind of a consomme. So and it, of really course, nice for this time of this year. This could be a good base for anything. I mean, you could then stick a load of vegetables back in it, make yeah. a soup, put yeah, some noodles could. in it. Absolutely, that would be a really good plan, actually, to make like a broth. It's a little bit like a thin mushroom it's soup. It's lovely. It's quite it's very nice. Good. It's a bit of salt. So if you had that every day, you'd be really boosting your collagen levels. Yeah. No, it's lovely. I mean, I can it's feel really lovely. Skin tightening. I can feel <laughs> the goodness. It's like you're looking more radiant. Already. I think I lovely. Feel it. Okay, good. I definitely would add like put some extra bits in it, but it's lovely. You can flavour it with whatever you could. How ginger often are you in supposed it to have that? Then? Well, probably every day. But if you didn't want to drink that, you could eat jelly.